Hello everyone, Professor Christensen here. Today we are going to talk about debits and credits. So this is one of the most important concepts that you're going to need to learn from here on out. So if you learn debits and credits and you understand them well, the rest of your life in financial accounting will be so much better. Okay, so um, on your screen there's a whole bunch of stuff, but let's focus over here on the left. Um, and we start with um, the fact that the normal balance of an account, and these are all accounts here, the normal balance of an account is the side on which an account increases. All right, let me also add here debit equals left okay and credit equals right so right away you have to forget any thoughts you have about debits being good or bad or your bank account going up or down you have to forget all of those things for a little while let's just remember debits are left credits are right and that's all you need to know right now okay all right, so the thing we want to talk about is the normal balance. The normal balance um, tells you the side on which an account increases. So that tells you, for example, if an account is going up, should we debit it or should we credit it? Okay. All right, so here, remember we said debits are on the left and credits are on the right. We have what is called a T account. You kind of see the T part here and here. I have an extra line there. Um, and under here we have the accounting equation which you should be familiar with. The accounting equation says assets equal liabilities plus stockholders equity. Okay? All right, so we know that assets equal liabilities plus stockholders equity. So the other thing that is always true is that the total dollar amount of all of your debits equals the total dollar amount of all of your credits. Okay, so next, let's talk about normal balances. All right, so I'm going to recommend that you use dealer. Sometimes people use an O here for owner's equity. But dealer is going to help you to remember what is the normal balance of each of these accounts. All right, so the D stands for dividends. Dividends have a normal debit balance. Expenses have a debit balance. Assets have a debit balance. Okay? So remember, we're starting up here with the idea that assets, which are debits, equal liabilities plus stockholders' equity, which have credit balances. So over here we have liabilities. We have equity. We also have revenue. So let's stop for a minute and think about, so we already had the A, the L and the E, right? We had these three already. So let's talk about the other ones, the dividends, the expenses, and the revenue. Why does revenue have a credit balance? Well, think about what revenue does to our stockholders' equity. Revenue increases our stockholders' equity, all right? And that's why our revenue has the same balance as stockholders' equity. Now, what about Dividends and expenses, what do they do to our stockholders' equity? Well, dividends, hopefully you remember, dividends reduce retained earnings. Dividends reduce our stockholders' equity. And expenses reduce our stockholders' equity. So that's why the balances are the opposite. They're on the other side of stockholders' equity, debit balances. Okay? All right. So let's come over here and let's practice classifying each of these accounts. So we're going to classify it as one of those six, the D-E-A-L-E-R. And then we're going to decide what is the normal balance on each of the accounts. All right, so let's do the first one together. Accounts payable. Hopefully you remember that when you see payable, that means it's a liability. And a liability has a normal credit balance. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing for each of these other accounts. I'm going to ask you to pause the um, video for a minute 
And the best thing to do is try to do it on your own. So this way you can check your answers and you can see whether you're getting it or not. Okay, so pause the video for a minute. Try to classify each of those items. Just do the first 10 there and then we'll, do, we'll talk about the other ones. So let's do those first 10. Decide what kind of classification each of those accounts has and then what is its normal balance. When you're done, um, you can restart the video. Okay, so hopefully you paused the video and you wrote some answers for all of these and now we can see how well you did. So salary expense is an expense and hopefully you remembered that that has a debit balance. Expenses have debit balances. Okay, common stock is an equity account and it has a credit balance. Accounts receivable, remember that means you're going to be receiving money in the future. That is an asset and assets have a debit balance. Retained earnings is an equity account and equity has a credit balance. Inventory, hopefully you remember, is an asset account and assets have debit balances. Now dividends are technically an equity account. They reduce your equity, but I'm going to call dividends a dividends account in this case so we don't get confused because if we call it equity and we say it has a debit balance, we might get confused. So let's just call dividends dividends for now. And they have a debit balance. Service revenue is a revenue account and revenue has a credit balance. Rent expense, expenses have a debit balance. And then finally we have cash. Hopefully you remember cash is an asset and assets have a debit balance. All right, so any of those that you got wrong, make sure you go back and check and see where your thinking was not correct, okay? All right, so now let's look at the second practice we have. Now we're going to talk about both increasing and decreasing accounts. Okay, um, so we have all of the accounts we just looked at. Now we want to decide how, for example, I'll do the first one with you again. How do we decrease accounts payable? So in other words, say a customer, um, say we pay our, I'm sorry, I'm thinking receivable. Say we pay our, um, one of our bills that's recorded as a payable. So we're decreasing our accounts payable. How do we do that? Well, accounts payable is a liability account and it has a credit balance, which means we increase it with credits. If we increase it with credits, we decrease it with a debit, okay? All right, so again, take a minute, pause the video and go through each of the accounts and decide how do we increase or decrease them based on what we've just learned about debits and credits? Okay, so here we are back again. Um, our next task here is to increase salary expense. So remember salary expense has a debit balance. So to increase it, we have to debit it. Common stock, we want to increase our common stock. Well, common stock is an equity account and it increases with credits. Now, what about decreasing accounts receivable? Here is where we paid off, um, our, one of our customers paid us. Um, and so our receivables are going down. The customers don't owe us as much money anymore. Well, accounts receivable has a debit balance, so to decrease it, we have to credit it. We do the opposite. All right, what about increasing retained earnings? Well, retained earnings is an equity account. We increase it with credits. Whoops. And now we have a decrease to inventory. So in order to make our inventory go down, remember inventory is an asset. It has a normal debit balance. So to make it go down, we do the opposite. We decrease it with a credit. Okay. 
we're going to increase our dividends. In order to increase dividends, we debit them because dividends have a debit balance. We're going to increase our service revenue. So service revenue is going up. It has a credit balance. So in order to increase it, we're going to credit it. Rent expenses going up. Again, remember expenses have a debit balance. So to make it go up, you debit it. Make that bigger for you so you can, oh, I can't, that's okay. All right, and then um, finally we have cash is decreasing. So our cash is going down. Um, and then remember cash has a debit balance. So to make it go down, we're going to credit it, okay? All right, so hopefully you did pretty well on those. Um, and whichever ones you got wrong, make sure you go back and review. All right, that's our video for today. I hope you find it helpful in your studies.